What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Not Okay Podcast, period. Woo-hoo. Right now, you are looking at my best friend. Hi. The love of my life. If you're watching, <laughs> if you're listening, I am with my best friend in the studio today, Shiko Kigashi. I'll let her... Oh, my phone's already going off. <laughs> Can you imagine? Silent. My best friend of, like, 27 years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 22, but 27 years. And she's here in the studio um, on behalf of Layla. Well, technically, no. Layla was meant to be here. Unfortunately, Layla is not here. Because she's an op. Because she's an op. Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Shiko. Um, she has food poisoning. Food poisoning. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, grow up. There are bigger problems in the world. Hey, Layla. Yeah, hey, Layla. <laughs> if, you're, if you're listening right now, grow up. Grow up. Yeah, grow up. But yeah, I'm here with Shika, and I'll let her introduce herself in however way, shape, or form she wants. All right, Shika, okay. it's all you, bro. Um, good afternoon, Ooh. everybody. <laughs> My name is Shiko. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> I just want to say a small greeting to my people. Hi, too. <laughs> Hi, please. My name's uh, Shiko mm. Kigochi. I, I am um, 21 years old, turning 22. God, you're a baby. Of days. Happy Aquarius season. <laughs> We're about to take over the world. No, literally, I think she's the only Aquarius that like, that says Aww. a lot. Yeah. Aww. Goals. <laughs> mm-hmm. What do yeah. you do? I am currently doing my masters, mm. which is the biggest scam of my life. How's that been? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm good. You're, you're I'm trying. Great. Like, why would you even ask me why that? Why would you ask me that? <laughs> I'm so fine. <laughs> no, I don't even know how she goes doing it. She went straight from her undergrad um, into her masters. I'll actually give a little backstory on us, just so, so the people have oh, context okay, as to. Why are you even here? <laughs> <laughs> like, why are you even here? I ask myself that every, every day. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. We're already there, huh? Damn, damn. I'm damn, sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. I'm 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 when we were eight years, oh, sorry, at year nine, sorry. We, made, we met in year four. We met in year four <laughs> when we were nine. Sorry, I got <laughs> numbers. We're Number. not good at that. No. <laughs> we, had to go, we went to the same maths tuition when we were like in year seven. Oh, God. We have a lot of stories for you guys, by the way. She terrorized us. That's all I want to say. And we should also tell the story about how we got caught sneaking out because I've never told it on Why the internet. She? Imagine. So we, we actually should. Okay. But anyway, sorry. Circling back to the intro um shiko and i met when we were nine years old in year four we're singing gang 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 that was the name of our school and then she followed me to brayside the fucking stalker hear me out she followed me me to brayside we talked about it we planned the whole thing yeah we did we did plan it yeah so we went to brayside uh in year eight and then i left her because she's an op. Oh. All my friends are ops. I'm seeing a continuous pattern here. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Really? It really is. Okay, so weird. Yeah. Because I left her um, when we were going into year 11. And that's when I went to the UK. And after year 11, year she goes... Yeah, it was year 10, actually. It was yeah. year 10. You left me for a whole <laughs> year. I'm sorry. I was alone. A whole you year. Alone <laughs> no, you, you were literally <laughs> with all of my other friends. <laughs> if anything, I was alone. Okay. Well, anyway. You're anyway. Right, you're right. Yeah, I went to the UK. Um, and then a year later, she went to... I'm just airing out. I know, you're just airing my personal details. <laughs> my government names. Her ID number is 344. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I actually think you know it. What? In what world would I know your ID number? I don't know. Elizabeth. Fuck Stalker. Um, yeah, and then, again, she followed me to University of Birmingham. Wow. Let me tell you. <laughs> it's actually it was crazy. actually the universe pulling us together. I That's think so. Myself. Honestly, guys, we did end up going to the same uni. And we ended up living together like all three years, Literally. which I loved. Like, you know, my heart was so full. I miss yeah. it. Um, and we did not plan to apply to the same places. I remember me getting my offer mm. and then you getting your offer. And then you're like, I was like, oh, yeah, like, what are your top three schools? And I was like, oh, Birmingham, Nottingham, Leeds. You were like... Birmingham, and then one of the other ones, I can't remember. No, I literally just, I wanted to go to Australia or Birmingham. Oh, like, yeah. Like, those were my two the, options. It was literally... Yeah. <laughs> nice and I convinced her. I the UK for some reason. I wonder who planned that. I wonder. Mm. Mm. I did some witch talk <laughs> spells. It all makes sense now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I've always been an astrology babe. Like, don't get it to... No, 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 no. Why I am I not then. surprised? 
<laughs> so yeah, that is our backstory. And now she's back. She was back for the Christmas holidays, and she's leaving me again on Wednesday and on Tuesday, actually. But you you're know fucking what? lying. <laughs> Anyways, moving on swiftly. <laughs> You're leaving on Tuesday. Okay. Um. I'm while sorry. I process that, I'm just gonna go through the topics we're gonna do today. I so, today on the pod, mm-hmm. we're gonna be. T- <laughs> I can't even read this out loud. We're gonna be talking about should, is it is women submitting to men such a bad <laughs> thing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. My bad. That just came out. <laughs> <laughs> um. Why Shiko believes the world is ending. Mm. We might touch on a personal story of Shiko, separate to that. And also, um, the time me, Shiko, and our other friend, Cynthia, <laughs> got caught sneaking, sneaking out. out. Because I just feel like... we're stupid. We stupid, we dumb. We were dumb. 16 years old. <laughs> you know what? It opened doors for us. And I think so. I think everyone should sneak out at least once in their life. Yeah. It, I just, it like builds character. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You get caught and then you're finally allowed to go out. Right. Okay. My question to you, Shi, mm-hmm. is have you mm-hmm. since then snuck out? Let's, let's just be honest. No, I don't find a point in sneaking out now. I might as well just tell you where I'm going. Right. And then if you say no, oop, I'm still going. <laughs> <laughs> like tough. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but it's still happening. First of all, mm-hmm. I think this gives insight into the kind of person you are. Mm-hmm. What are you doing for your master's? Okay, so I'm doing conflict, state building, and development. Whenever I tell people that, they're, they're always like, what huh? is that? What are you doing? What does that mean? So are you in, like, construction? And I'm oh just like, bro, they, they what do you mean construction? <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, they hear development, and <laughs> they're like, mm, mm, architecture. You build. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, a builder. No. No. no they just ignore the conflict <laughs> state. State building. <laughs> It's about governance. It's about yeah. policy. It's Period. about conflict. Period. What's happening in Sudan at the moment? Period. What's happening in freaking Syria, Afghanistan? That's it. That's what I do, basically. She's very passionate sure. about it, and it's one of the things I love about her. Yes. She's very much. We need to get justice for those that have been done dealt with an unjust hand. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. And what do, your dissertation? I wanna. I want them to. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> Give us the title. Give us a title of your dissertation. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to burn my bridges just yet, but oh. I basically did about like the failures of the UN, especially okay. in the DRC Congo. Hey, you're not burning any bridges. You can go into the UN, help make it better. Oh, period. Exactly. Yeah. We're not shitting on the UN body. Mm-hmm. We're just like, hey, but we did. But we, yeah, we did. But like, it's like, here's what but you could fact. do better. Yeah, period. literally. All right, guys, after this song, we will be right back with those juicy ass topics. Like, I don't know why we're doing this. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> and we back. And we back. And we back. I genuinely think I'm getting the hang of this radio thing. Like, that oh, was so seamless. Okay, okay girl. Can I tell you, hanging out with Kami what? is so fun because everybody knows her. <laughs> oh, please. And we get free drinks. That is. <laughs> why are you actually lying? <laughs> like, like. Unprovoked no, but lying. Literally, everybody comes and it's like, "Oh my goodness, Cammy!" No, like, yeah, no. This is so famous. I know a celebrity. I have guys. two subscribers. Uh, two more subscribers. Like two thousand. Oh my god, oh, period. Oh, guys, can period. we get that up? Go to Cammy McKendia on YouTube. Please subscribe because, <laughs> and that's why we actually rerun these episodes. Mm-hmm. If you listen live though, you get the uncut tea. Yeah, because you know the, the things I have to cut out. For like YouTube <laughs> guidelines, but um, <laughs> here we just say everything because yeah. zero consequence. It's yeah. live, like it comes and it goes. Exactly. Like it's not like it's anywhere. If you know, you know. If you know, know, you know exactly. Yeah. Period. So Tune in. But can I, I just say? Oh, <laughs> thank you. She is such a good supporter. Can I just say though? Mm-hmm. Every time, or almost every time, like especially recently since mm-hmm. being back, mm-hmm. people are like, "How's your friend Shiko? Oh. I love you and Shiko's friendship so much because Shiko is literally the most featured person." <laughs> On my channel, just because yeah, she's always around. <laughs> and also, I think our dynamic is, like, really good for, like, social media. Mm. Not to sound like a fake friend, like, I only use you for views. Oh, you only use me for Yeah, views. like, no, I, I don't care. about Yeah. Like every time, like, you don't really want to hang out with me. I just stuff. whip out the camera, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, like really fake. it's crazy, because yeah. that's actually why I befriended you in year four. Because really? I knew, like, eventually, yeah, yeah, I was like... You just need the platform. <laughs> <laughs> I just need the platform. <laughs> I had the plan. <laughs> <laughs> literally that's exactly <laughs> what it was <laughs> and i just want to start off with uh, i i half want to start off with this and mm-hmm. i half want to end with this mm-hmm. but just go with your gut you're so right yeah i shouldn't second guess myself exactly so that. we're gonna be talking about 
is it so bad if women submit to men? <coughs> <coughs> and okay, hey Shiko, let, let, what do we mean by submit? Well, okay. how do you take it? How I take it when you say submit is I should just follow everything that you say. I should be your subordinate. I should just praise you and everything that you do as a human being, especially if it's submit to men. I don't know, just the whole... Is it the men bit that... Are yeah. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, I don't submit to my dog that a man. <laughs> <laughs> this is I'm why sorry. I think... <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I deliberately pick this topic for mm. when Shiko is coming because mm. if any of you know she you know how um outspoken shall we say <laughs> she is <laughs> a nice way of putting it nice, uh, about how men don't deserve right and I'm not gonna lie 100%. I agree I and fully agree guys for all my lovely women followers that are listening I'm going to start a community <laughs> for just women. Please. And I've been saying this No, she goes for been time. saying this for years. <laughs> like, she just wants to build a community yeah. where it's all women, mm-hmm. right? We support each other. We support each other. We, we raise our kids together, together yeah. without men. Share financial responsibilities if it comes to that. Like, yeah. if it's... Because it's like a partnership, exactly. a community, just without men. Because <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know about y'all, but... From the, co- the course that I do, men are 90% the cause of war and women are 90% the victims. So hear me out, hear me out. Community just for women. Um, I was watching this topic, uh, topic TikTok, <laughs> <laughs> um, and this girl was being dragged because she said something about the patriarchy. And she was like, men truly hate this whole topic because they feel like, we're talking to them. Mm. We're not they saying it's attacked. you specifically <laughs> um, that things are shit. The w- like because of are you, because as of an you. Individual. No, we're talking about pre- like history. Literally, how the world was set up by men. The problems we have today is because, of, because men, of men. Because you were in charge. Okay. The problems men face is a result of the patriarchy. And people get so mad when you mention or oh, abolish the patriarchy. But they do we're realize trying to help we're trying to help everybody. Too. It's not just about women. It's about everybody that doesn't benefit from being a hegemonic masculine man. Yes, no. and most of the time, it's men. Men, exactly. do you always want to have this pressure to provide? To provide your to you're be always strong all tied. The time. Your, your value is tied to financial gain. Literally. All of this, like, we also want you to breathe. Yeah, we also want you to or be able to be vulnerable yeah. and, and, and not think, oh, I'm not being a typical man. Like, like bro, just be yourself. And that's that's why we're trying to abolish the patriarchy. <laughs> Period. Yes. I don't know how we got someone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> anyway going back to submission. I will say, mm-hmm. playing devil's advocate. Ooh. I know. <laughs> Piggy <laughs> backing off that. Piggy backing off. <laughs> she kind of very traumatized from uni <laughs> and know. like a lot of like racist Aww. people. Like they're trying to prove a point like a racist point Literally. by just saying like just playing just devil's advocate there's no devil's that point no there's no devil's no. advocate for saying black people don't deserve rights yeah like, no you, there's, there's no way you can justify you saying that <laughs> okay just quick story time oh please there was this guy we were talking about like the crime rates and like how black people are incarcerated a lot more than white people and this man really put up his hand this white Okay, let me not say that. But this I white mean, man, he's a white man, yeah. <laughs> Put up I'm his just hand. saying. And he was like, "Yeah, maybe it's just because black people commit more crime." And literally, the class went silent because, um, I don't think that's really the case. I feel like black people are followed more by the police. They're stopped yeah. more by the police. That's why they're incarcerated more. If we're talking about America, America, yeah, like the reason why black people commit more, they don't. They but don't. Why people think that is because. Where did they grow up? Underprivileged homes. What do they have to do to survive? They have to resort to crime. Stealing. Stealing. crime. Like, ugh. it was anyway. so ignorant. And yeah. he felt so justified in saying that. And you know when, like, people just use big words, but they're just saying absolutely You're saying shit. nothing. Like, you're saying bro, nothing. just keep quiet. Get oh, out. Get another, out of the class. Another pet peeve of mine is, like, you're going to, s- you say, like, a really, really good point in mm-hmm. a seminar. And then a white man says the same point. Exact same thing. And and using like, different wow. languages. It's like, wow, wow. honestly, amazing point amazing there. Amazing point Lovely. there. Honestly, Wait, that's where? very insightful. Wait. Whereas they were just like, oh, yeah, okay, I see where you're coming from, Elizabeth. And, and then when like, he oh, says it, so oh, damn. groundbreaking point. Wow, like, a man has spoken the truth. Okay, I don't want... <laughs> <laughs> I don't want our listeners to think we're going to spend the entire podcast shitting on men. I mean, we might. And if you have a problem with that, go but to war. I was going to say, 
I'm sorry, no, guys. I'm sorry, I promise. Man. I'm really nice. No, she she is lovely, and we're just you have to know we're just goofing around. Yeah, we're just in Damn a silly, silly goofy, goofy mood. mood, right? Um, yeah, but I honestly do miss when men would just write us letters from the front yeah. lines, mm. as, you know, and dying we're for actually more. doing something for this country <laughs> and for countries. Like guys, please back. know what joking. <laughs> By the way, if you actually heard, just go and cry. I don't know what to <laughs> tell you. I really don't know. <laughs> it's all yeah. banter. This is why I need a chick on this. But I was saying, <laughs> circling back to this, the missing Damn. thing. Damn. <laughs> um, in my relationships, mm-hmm. I mean, I am mm. a single gal. <laughs> Crazy. Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> but in my relationships, I don't mind being submissive in... In the way that, not that my partner doesn't view me as his equal, but in the way of like, like yeah, take the lead. Okay. Take the lead. I, do, I genuinely like it when a man takes charge. Mm-hmm. I also like it when men pay for dates, mm-hmm. obviously. No, I get that. Like, I like playing that role of like, yeah, take care of me. Mm. Maybe I need to go to therapy for that. Damsel in distress <laughs> type of thing. Oh. But I completely <laughs> understand you that. See, like you see I get where it. I'm coming from. I see where you're coming from. But I don't know. I just feel like the way people make submission look like it's like now I'm seen as the underdog in the relationship. Yeah. And I don't like that. Like my partner and I are equal. Like we may not do the same things. Yeah. But we are definitely still equal, equal in whatever course. that we do. And I feel like I'll submit to you if you submit to me. Oh. It's a double-edged sword. Yes. I don't think I used that right, but like... No, it, oh, I mean... <laughs> I mean, it's a negative saying, but like you used I it correctly. But I in a positive way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so Changing the narrative. <laughs> Normalize. <laughs> Normalize it. Anyway, we need to stop speaking in TikToks, but... The, like, if, if the men hated the podcast before... <laughs> They're gonna hit a lot. Should have podcasts. They're I gonna start that. I saw this clip of Chunks saying, um, <laughs> Chunk. "Chunks, you know Chunks, the UK oh, comedian, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chunks and Philly. Mm-hmm. Um, if you guys don't know them, check them out. Mm-hmm. And they, Chunks was going on this rant about like how he, he it gives him the ick mm-hmm. um, how girls talk in TikToks like it's giving blah 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 blah. And I was thinking, okay, first of all, that's not Rolls TikTok. Eyes. That's um, <laughs> just AAV, yeah. African American vernacular, like slang. Yeah, yeah, slang, mm-hmm. exactly. But a lot of women um, got really mad about it. Mm-hmm. I honestly didn't. I mean, I get why, mm-hmm. but I just don't think it's that deep. Like, I don't take anything men say seriously. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just Guys, joking, thank you like so much for tuning into the Not Okay that's podcast. All. <laughs> that's all. I did an intro. I didn't even say who Ooh. I was. Guys, welcome to the Not Okay podcast with Kami McKendia. Layla is not here. Wee. Social girl Chico, but you know what? You know what the fuck is going on. But <laughs> um, I didn't find it that deep because honestly, even seeing a man's butt crack gives me the ick. Oh. So <laughs> she was telling us. A friend of mine was telling me uh, yesterday that a man being ticklish gives. Kind of the egg. Egg. Like, why like as a man, why are you? Why are you? Why are you la- <laughs> every time someone you, tickles you? You giggle. So you're giggling. <laughs> men should not giggle. I'm joking. I'm actually joking, guys. I hope you know. <laughs> okay, but uh, like in that same breath, like if I don't mind guys having the egg uh, if girls yeah. talking TikToks, I just, just won't talk to you. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm, I'm just not just the girl for you, and that's totally fine. I don't see why people get so offended. Like that just means. That you guys aren't just going to get along. And that's okay. You have that's to fine. be okay with not getting along with everyone. No. Just <laughs> Boy, live your life. Have I learned that this the hard past way. year? <laughs> God, yeah. I used to be such a people pleaser. Like, like me, like me, like me. Oh, never again. No, that's exhausting. It's so ex- Especially for a man. I know. Like, how are you a pick me man? Oh. How are you a pick me woman, actually? How are you a pick me? Full stop. What, what are the traits of, like, pick me men? Hmm. It's like but false allyship, yeah. you know. Um, like wants to be friends with everybody, like every single person in the world. If Why do I feel like? Yeah, you know, I know, you know. exactly <laughs> who you're talking about. Like, <laughs> talk your shit, queen. Talk, talk your shit, queen. Queen, 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 queen. Yeah. <laughs> Mixtape coming out soon, as you should. Yeah, I like. I really like what you said about um, if I'm submitting to your man, your man should also yeah, submit to me. Submit to me. But do you think they're they're roles where women should take the back seat though like like what circumstances would that call for okay are there any think of an example that a typical example that people might use like changing tires and stuff like you know as 
a woman, I'm not gonna lie to you, I, I have no clue how to change a tire. Oh, fuck you Tell me anything tire. about an engine. No, I'm I know zero, zero, but <laughs> the man is expected to know that. Please tell them that TikTok for <laughs> for the changing of tires. <laughs> it's, it was, it was, I think it was pressure or something. Yeah. But it's an automatic, automatic car. car. See, when your man tells you to fill your car, a car with uh, your tires with pressure, but it's already an, an automatic, automatic car. car. So it fills up automatically. So Come dumb. On. So dumb. It's yeah. so funny. But but yeah, so like rules like that, I guess you'd expect the man to take the lead. But I also feel like that's kind of wrong because changing a tire is essential. If you have a car, you should know how to change a tire. How are you driving a car and you don't know how to change a tire? Bro, so I just call AA. A- <laughs> <laughs> Quick steps. But I'm like, but you know how long AA takes to come? No, it takes a while. That's why I'll Bro. just call my brother crying. Exactly. Like, you see? Wonder, I can't. I'm on the road. I can't. I'm <laughs> you see, I don't know. Like, I get that. I don't know. It just rubs me the wrong way of feeling I like, get it. oh, a woman should do this, a man should do that. Like, if you can and you have the opportunity to learn how to do things that men are typically yeah. known to do. Or as a man, learn how to do things that women usually do, like cooking, cleaning. Like, it, these are essential life skills. No, these are essential. Yeah. I, I don't think changing a tire is an essential life If Actually, you have a car. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, it is. is. It yeah. is. I mean, yeah. again, uh, like, the thought of me learning how to change a tire, I don't know why it depresses me. <laughs> <laughs> like I would literally rather die. She rather could die. I would rather not with die. these nails. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, by the way, and she go gets her nails done every three to five business days. So can you yeah. imagine? So how am I touching? How tires? am I t- tires? Great. But I would love to learn though. I mean, just sure. for the sake of knowing. You you would be yeah. the, the type to learn. to change my own tire. Yeah, hundred percent. And I love that. I would be the type to call, like I said, my brother's crying. Oh my but do you think women have become like hyper in- independent? No. Like, almost too independent. No. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm asking these questions, and I'm, like, like trying to... Tr- this is painful for me it's to hear. It's so like painful. Cammy, who are you? No, I know. <laughs> hey, content. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta do what you, you gotta, gotta do. do, what you gotta do. You're speaking to some masses, but anyway. Um, I swear, like, I'm, I'm being the pick me. Men are gonna be like, you know, Cammy yeah. Mokinda has sense. Girl. She has sense. She has sense. She has sense. You she know, understands she's one women of the are supposed to submit to the men. No. no <laughs> then they'll no. pull up. What, what was the Bible verse? <laughs> Ephesians. Ephesians? <laughs> Ephesians 5? 5, 22 to 23. It's 20, in Shiko's um, search history. Actually, I need to give credit to the person that gave me uh, this idea of talking about... Uh, submitting to men because... But the thing is, people take it out of context because in the other section, it says, husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church. Okay, and read, read the full up. verse. Okay, okay. Read the full verse. Let me All right. Sorry to get into the Bible, guys. I know. Um, but for the Christians, <laughs> shout out to you guys, I guess. Um, wives? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday. So happy Sunday happy to you Happy Sunday to the Christians. Yeah, and... And yeah. just everyone else, I guess. Happy Sunday. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. I don't on. know what's going on, but we're here. But yeah, basically. So it says, wives, submit to your husbands as to the Lord, for the husband is the head of thy wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body of which he is the savior. Now, as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands and everything. So that's the first part of the verse. Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let's unpack that first verse. Okay. God, I, what, what, hey, what, what, we're analyzing the Bible today. This is actually the most unhinged one. Maybe Layla should come back. <laughs> She'll just be like, what are you guys doing? Yeah, she's listening right now. She's like, oh, dear. But me. I think it's going to be brought up um, the Bible because majority of Christian, I mean, a majority of Kenyans are, are Christian. Christians, yeah. And I know similar sen- sentiments are within other religions. Yeah, and so culture as well. Like and just cult- like African yeah, culture. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So it's important to talk about It's actually things. very important. Mm. So how does the church submit to christ that means the church sees uh christ as like the be all end all savior yeah like whatever like, like so there's already a hierarchy him, like there. yeah exactly and that's a bit that rubs me the wrong way mm-hmm. the hierarchical part mm. because we're the same but the things but we're different <laughs> we're the same mm. in terms of value yeah in terms, in terms of value, of value. yeah but would you say the church and christ are on the same value no you see? Because you see, I don't know, the way Christ is portrayed in the Bible is like he is our savior. Yeah. Exactly. So that's why we sub- should submit to him because he's the only way that we can enter heaven mm. according to the Bible. So so men are literally the only way we oh, can have a good oh, life. Oh, 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 oh. But oh, I oh. think it's how you interpret it. Like yeah. when it says for the husband is the head of the wife. That's the part that rubs me the wrong way because mm-hmm. why can't the wife be the head of the wife? <laughs> why can't I not be my own head? Actually, they're also excluding the LGBTs. Oh, exactly. Why is it only two gender binaries? What if I 
What if I don't identify as a wife or a husband? Guys. <laughs> hey. <laughs> We're really going to miss it. <laughs> Guys, um, Layla has just texted in and she mm. says, hey guys, really wish I was there and shout out to all of our listeners and supporters. Aww. We, we miss you, Layla. you, Layla. Honestly, I know she'd have so much to say about this. Stop okay, you can do your heart again because I wasn't on you. <laughs> oh wait, can they see it? Now they can see it. Oh Only wow, if you're on Twitch. Actually perfect. OMG. Period. But, but yeah, the second mm. verse. I okay, think yeah, you yeah, need I'm to read the second verse okay. because that's the part that people love to leave out. Like it's we a in church whole, whole, today. whole sermon. We in church today. Ephesians five twenty two. Oh, to is 33. it the one that husbands husbands also. loved your wife, mm. love your wives, <laughs> just as Christ loved the church mm-hmm. and gave Himself up for her to make her holy, mm-hmm. cleansing her by the washing with water through the word mm. and to. Pr- okay. It's a whole thing. It's a whole love. thing. But yeah, and blah, 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 blah. In the same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. Mm. He who loves his wife loves himself. Mm. After all, no one ever hated his own body, mm. but he feeds and cares for it just as Christ does for the church. Exactly. For we are members of his body. Mm. Wow. So it, that's the part people love to leave out. Like husbands should love their wives as much as they love themselves. And that's loving someone is not just enough. You have to respect them. You have to treat them like an equal person. Yeah. If you're going to be, quote unquote, the head of this person, the you head have to of the view them as a person worth your respect yeah. and worth your wow. love and worth you have good to, You have to act accordingly. Exactly. Yeah. Wow. That's you honestly be the under head respect. And them yeah. Anyhowly. anyhowly. <laughs> it's even, it's even no, it's not. That's, that's <laughs> <laughs> Kenyan vernacular. Remember Miss Akira? Oops. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my bad. She was just airing out people's governments. The last bit actually gets me. So mm-hmm. his wife, I mean, a husband must love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her husband. Mm. Yeah, exactly. And just Chico just said, earn that respect. Exactly. And we should also earn that love. Like, we should respect each other. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. Back to the question. Should Be. wives submit to their husbands? What do you think? Your honest opinion. Not honest your opinion? devil's advocate opinion. My honest, honest opinion, mm. I believe... Um, in obviously we're just talking about like a heterosexual relationship, mm-hmm. so a man and a woman. I believe the wife should have a lot of respect for her husband, and not kind of if he's a masculine masculine guy, not try and undermine his masculinity, and you know blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. That does not mean she should water down himself. I mean herself mm. to play to you know whatever. A man should also be secure enough in his masculinity mm. like if mm. a comment i'm saying is like triggering your ego then mm. damn but like i don't think a wife should submit to us yeah <laughs> sorry i shouldn't but i, be, I believe in like roles mm. and i believe in, in for me personally mm-hmm. and i i like that man woman role speaking as a straight mm-hmm. woman mm-hmm. i like that uh you know he takes care of me but there are also ways i can take care of him mm. don't get it twisted though I ain't going to be um, cooking, cleaning the house. We both have nine to fives. Mm. You come home and I'm tired and you're like, where's dinner? Where's the food? Uh, 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 what uh, are we uh, eating for dinner uh, today? Uh, 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 cook. You're what hungry. What are you cook. making for us for dinner, my love? I, no, literally. Also, I hate cooking, so I need to find a husband. Oh, that loves cooking. Yeah, mm. genuinely. Mm. But yeah, what do you think, Elizabeth? Like I said, submission goes two ways. If I submit to you, you submit to me. I also Seriously. kind of believe in roles, but I also feel like when it comes to like household duties, I think we should speak split that equally. Like yeah. Monday to Tuesday or Monday to Wednesday, you cook. Then Wednesday till Sunday, I cook. Because yeah. we split things according to the what we like. Because I love cooking, so I would right. not mind cooking. And I love friend. cleaning, so I so can do that. Yeah. But then the man should also like like mow the lawn. <laughs> I mean, America, Literally, mow the lawn, <laughs> take the trash out. <laughs> But yeah. I mean, yeah, taking the trash out. I don't mind doing that. I just feel you like... You know I hated it. From living with me, you know, me I hated doing yeah. the bins. Yeah. We shouldn't... I shouldn't have the burden of having to do everything whilst also still going to work and having to take care of the children, take care of the house, da 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 No. Let's put it equally. And I don't know if I should mention this, but like over 25, like mm. when um, I watched this episode when Ivy was talking about how men don't see unpaid labor as something that you contribute to the household. Ooh, they think yes. working is enough to support the if family. If it has monetary value, yeah, then that's like, the only value it can yeah. have. And unpaid labor, like, 
you guys Girl, you know that's actually understand. unpaid it's as in picking up the kids the from leader. school yeah waking up earlier to get the kids dressed doing, doing homework, homework with them, homework with them. Mm-hmm. cooking making sure they have their pampers making sure the house is fully stocked making sure your house looks good like the curtains yeah like making sure. a home yeah, like exactly. literally do you know that's a, that's lot, of a lot of work like calling unpaid. like if things aren't working you have to call the the plumber the fundi yeah. no no like that falls on you as a woman making exactly. sure the clothes are done washed mm. like even though you have help it's still it's, it's still, still your it's still responsibility like yeah. you're st- you're also in charge of the help exactly bro it's, it's actually a lot, a lot. it's a lot <laughs> and not to say that what men do or what your typical man role is like providing for the family growing your financial gains so that your family can like move to like a bigger house and stuff i'm not saying that that's relevant but i'm also saying that it's you should relevant. acknowledge the amount of work that women do to build a home to make the home such a loving and wonderful place that you just want to spend time there i fully agree yeah. Yeah. i think that's like the perfect way to just wrap it up in a yeah. little bow yeah just uh, respect yeah just yeah, just Are respect easy, respect easy. each other, respect your partners. Mm. And so sorry this entire conversation was so hetero focused. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll 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 do more to be more inclusive. Yeah. But anyway, we're gonna take another music break mm-hmm. and when we come back we'll ask Shiko why she believes the world is ending. Right. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. <laughs> Alright guys, see you in a bit. Hey guys, I bet you're wondering why that episode of the pod ended so abruptly and it was only half an hour long. Unfortunately, we did have power issues at the station, so we literally could not go live because there was no power, which is crazy to me. But to make it up for you, when Chico comes back to Kenya, we're going to bring her back on. And yeah, as you can see, I'm in my work clothes. I just got home from work. But just wanted to explain why we never got to the stories of how we snuck out or why Shiko thought the world was ending because oh, that would have been so funny. But you know, such is life. You have to roll with the punches. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the podcast regardless, the episode regardless. And remember to not take us so seriously. Bye, guys. Subscribe. Bye. Bye.